Hey everybody, it's me, it's Undead Viking, coming to another video review. Uh, this is another game that is in Kickstarter and is going to be done fairly soon. Um, I was contacted by uh, the designer of this game, and they asked me if I wanted to do a review of a high-level prototype. And uh, normally, um, I, I've been trying to cut down on the number of Kickstarter games I've been doing uh, reviews of, just because uh, I've been trying to focus more on on, on published games, but uh, the, the the designer and the publisher um, kind of explained the game a little bit to me, and uh, it really, really intrigued me. Um, they said it was a very, very uh, a challenging cooperative game based on the old uh, children's tale of The Emperor's New Clothes. If you're unfamiliar with The Emperor's New Clothes, um, it was a uh, almost like a, it was a fable about uh, these these two con men that that come to the uh, come to an emperor and they tell him that uh, they can uh, make him the the, the finest richest uh, uh, suit of clothes anyone would have ever seen ever that he could use when he goes uh, on a parade uh, through a village and uh, they tell him however that um, uh, only somebody who is truly magnificent and truly intelligent and truly an amazing individual will be able to see the clothes that they are making. So, of course, the, the thing is that they're not making him anything. Um, he goes and watches them pretending to use a loom and using all these fine, they say, the finest silks and threads in the world, and they get him to give them all this money. Uh, so they, you know, and they make him nothing. And, of course, at the very end, they... Uh, they give him um, these clothes, and they put them on him, and you know, and, and but he doesn't want them to think that he's stupid, and so he says, "Oh, these are amazing, and they're beautiful." And of course, he tells everybody about this, and the con men do as well. And nobody wants to admit that they don't see it, because all it takes is that one first person to say, "Oh, look at this amazing, you know, cloak I have on, or whatever." And and so then it, it kind of uh, steamrolls at that point, and so he goes out. Uh, for his parade or his walk through the village in his resplendent new clothes. And everyone, of course, totally and completely buys into it. And the con men, uh, you know, oh, look at that, look at the beautiful crown he has on. Look at the resplendent leggings and what have you. And so everybody's like, oh, yes, yes, it's beautiful. I don't want you to think I'm stupid. And, then, of course, they get to the very end and a, and a little girl uh, just says, look, the, the emperor's naked, you know. And then everybody, at that point, the spell's broken and uh, the emperor is, is incredibly embarrassed. And of course the con men have, have long since ran off with their money and, 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 a, and a hard lesson is learned by everyone about you know, not to be so prideful, if you will. But, uh, so I mean, it, I, I remember reading that and I remember, and I was like, well, how are you gonna turn that into a really good game? And, and they, they just basically said, well, you know, it's like they said, it'll, the reason why they, they asked me to do the review is that they said they were really impressed uh, with uh, you know, my reviews and, and, and what I did, and, you know, of course, which is nice to hear, I don't, you know, I mean, of course, but, and they said that, um, you know, I, w I would be one of the few people that would really appreciate the game for what it is, and so I was, I was really excited about it, and, um, you know, and, and I, I, you know, I didn't want them to think that, you know, I, 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 you know, wouldn't be able to appreciate their game. They were really excited about it, and really, uh, trying to tell me, uh, you know, just all the great things about it, and, and so, um, you know, I got the game, and, and you know, and, you know, well, just take a look at this box. I mean, this box is amazing. I mean, it's, uh, you know, um, I, I thought it was Michael Menzel who had done the artwork on the front, but I guess it's a, I guess it's one of the two people that designed the game actually, and and the amazing artwork, um, you know, really resplendent. You can see the emperor, and of course, you know, he he's naked, but they've covered it up, obviously, which is nice, you know. And so, and I saw the box. I mean, and then I looked at the back. And you can see the, you know, the awesome components and everything like that. Um, you know, I knew I was going to probably, I was going to be in store for a really awesome game. So, uh, well, yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to show you uh, how to play Emperor's New Clothes. Um, my friends and I, we've enjoyed the heck out of it. And, um, and then I'm going to tell you exactly uh, what I think. So, all right. Uh, <laughs> you can see his butt. It's right there. But anyway, uh, all right. Well, Emperor's New Clothes. Let's do this. 
All right, uh, here you go. You can see the uh, the game board for uh, Emperor's New Clothes. Um, you know, you, obviously, you can see that here's the track uh, that the Emperor will be following uh, through uh, the, the the town until he finally gets to the end here uh, with the little girl who uh, realizes that he is naked. Um, the Emperor and the two conmen uh, start right there. Obviously the Emperor just continues to move no matter what, uh, sometimes faster, sometimes slower, depending on the cards that are drawn. Uh, the conmen, of course, you are controlling and, you know, try to, you know, one, uh, you use them to, as I said, uh, control or try to try to convince the crowd uh, that, that he isn't naked. And also, um, if the Emperor gets worried or anything, then uh, also to convince him as well that uh, uh, he is not in fact naked, but he is wearing clothes. Uh, you can uh, see over here, uh, here are the five uh, different types of uh, villagers that you will encounter. And this track, as these stones uh, slowly move down this, this track, and if they ever reach there, that's when they, they announce that they realize the, the Emperor is naked and you lose the game. Uh, but um, as you see here, you have uh, noblemen, uh, craftsmen, uh, guildsmen, tradesmen, and commoners. And of course, as you can probably guess, the commoners are always the toughest to uh, convince because, um, you know, of course, the, the, the classic thing is that the, the people that thought they were better than everyone else um, were the ones that were duped and, and the commoners were, were, had more common sense, if you will. So, uh, here are the player boards that each person will have. Um, you know, I, these are really well done and all. Um, you can see that all the different effects are over here, uh, the different cards that you can have. And also, uh, when you turn in the chips of the finite amount of chips you have uh, here that, that you get when you play the game, it, it does explain what each of those chips will do and uh, if you, you know, that, that kind of last gasp of scenario, if you're going to try to keep yourself moving. But as you can see, uh, they, they have one for each player color, uh, chartreuse, uh, cyan, uh, blood red, and uh, I think this is like a hot purple. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. All right, so um, play the game. Uh, it's not the most complex game in the world, but it is really fun, actually. So um, the first thing you do is uh, you turn a card over, and uh, as you can see here, you will see uh, the emperor, how many spaces he moves. Uh, then you will see uh, how much you populate, um, you know, the, the, the street, uh, that section of the street with what type of villagers. So you know which ones you have to impress. And then if there's any extra added information here, uh, you can see here it says, uh, looks like rain. Uh, make sure you draw one extra commoner when placing on the next street. So you got to remember that. On the next street, we'll place an extra commoner. So uh, it said we were going to move forward two. So we'll move the emperor. Of course, the commoner haven't moved yet because we haven't expended our dice yet to move the commoners. But now, as, as it said on the card, we will have two tradesmen, one nobleman, and a craftsman. So here's our two tradesmen. All right, so now uh, the first player will take the dice and you don't get to roll all of them unless you remember you either uh, a special, special situation or if you expend a chip. So we take the five dice that we have and we're trying to match the colors of the people that we're, we're, uh, we're seeing. So we're gonna hope that we get to match those equally. All right, so we did match those two and we got him. So the con men uh, are able to convince, well, just because of the fact that they've, they've, they've talked already and people know that the emperor is going to be wearing um, his brand new resplendent clothes and that only the, the smartest and greatest of all can actually see them, um, you know, they're already buying into it. However, we do have that lone one there. So we take these two colors and normally since we can't use uh, the yellow or the green because the yellow green wasn't out there, now we're gonna go ahead and look at your player card and you can see that yellow can be used to move one con man up to the spot of the emperor and green can be used to convince one person of tradesman or lower so luckily that works out really well so we'll move one con man to the location and then we'll use the other card to convince them that the emperor is you know wearing clothes 
And so, now, you move on to the next player's turn. If we hadn't convinced the tradesman, we would have had to take take the token and move it down. And and we would have had been unable, you know, and once again, we're slowly moving down towards the moment where it gets revealed. Now, I mentioned the chips, and I'm going to explain those really quickly. Remember um, that these are a finite amount. Once you use them, they're burned. Um, you can use them, uh, as I said, for one chip equals two extra dice. So you can spend that if you have a, a situation where you have a ton of villagers that are that are going to be sitting there. Um, you can you spend a chip to automatically convince one color of villagers uh, that, that the emperor is wearing clothes, or at least to convince them otherwise. And you can also spend a chip to immediately have one of your con men either catch up to the emperor, so he can convince the people that are around them, or if they are at the same level of the emperor, they can move one space ahead to be able to, you know, on that next player's turn, to preemptively uh, try to convince the people that are there of, of what the emperor is wearing. So, just uh, for let's let me just find a card that has a lot of, uh, lot of you know, here. This one's a good. So you can see here, this one's going to have five commoners and two noblemen and one tradesman. So that's going to be kind of a rough one. So we'll just say he's here when that happens. So five commoners, two noblemen, and a tradesman. All right, so there we go. So it's my turn. Um, I realized that, unfortunately, uh, and let's, for the sake of an argument, let's say we had a con man up there and we have a con man back there. So we don't have a single con man in that location able to help. So on my turn, first I'm gonna spend a token. And I'm gonna spend a token to immediately get a con man along with the emperor so I'll be able to use his power if needed when I roll the dice. And I'm gonna spend another token, even though maybe the people that I'm playing with are saying don't do it, to get two extra dice. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll those. And hopefully I'll get lucky. Ugh, that wasn't good at all. Well, I can get rid of the tradesman with that, and I can get rid of one nobleman. But I don't know how I didn't get one one commoner. So I have a ton of commoners sitting out there right now. Now, I could spend another chip uh, and then get rid of all the commoners because I do have a common in the location. But, um, you know, I've already burned up two. So instead, what I'm going to do is I am going to use the con man's ability to take the dice and flip them over to the opposite side. And he can do that by getting them all to that side. Now I can go ahead and spend two of the yellow results to move a con man back to that location. And then, because there are two con men in that location, I can spend any color of a die to go ahead and get rid of three and convince three of the people, because both the con men are in that location. And then in this case, I wasn't able to convince the nobleman, so we'll go ahead and move that down one, and I wasn't able to convince the commoners by two. Now, of course, later on, you can see there's special locations, um, like the festival here. You, if you uh, if you notice on a, on a blue and a purple and a green result, you can spend those dice to raise any one of these up by two. And so just because you lose a few of the things on this track over here doesn't necessarily mean uh, that you're going, you know, to, you know, you're going to lose the game. They have ways to get those back. Also, there's cards in the deck that allow you to get them back as well. Eventually, um, if, unless you're found out prior to reaching the end, you will get to the end, and if you can make it all the way to the end, uh, the little girl, there's nothing you can do, she, she tells, is, tells everybody that, that the emperor is naked, and everybody agrees, and the emperor runs off and hides. But at that point, um, you can go ahead into final scoring, and you can go ahead, and uh, depending on how many chips you have left, uh, depending on the cards that you may have in your hand, because you've claimed them due to the fact uh, that you uh, were able to use those as the tricks that they are, um, you can see who amongst everybody that's playing is, you know, technically the big winner, if you will. But since it's a cooperative game, you can all just hear and be excited about the fact that you did manage to beat it. Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, there are three spots on the board here, 
here and here where you're going to use the timer. And in those spots you draw three cards and you flip them over and you put all of the uh, the different uh, villagers down in that location. Then depending on how many people you have playing, uh, if, if you have four people playing, then each person gets to roll the dice twice. Uh, if you have three people playing, uh, each person gets to roll, uh, uh, roll the dice once, except for the last one to roll twice, and so on and so forth. You flip this over, and you immediately, each person has to roll the dice and get rid of those colors as fast as they quickly, as, and as possible as they can. And it goes around the table, and um, obviously you, you do use the reroll results and options that you have on the player board. You know, you'll notice the speed round information over here, you can use the reroll results for the different colors. And, and that's actually a really fun part of the game because as you can see the time's running out and each person's rolling a dice really quickly trying to get rid of uh, those, those the tons of, of villagers that are in that location. And um, it's, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, it, it adds that 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 moment of of, uh, of frenetic excitement that really uh, just kind of turns the game on its ear for just that moment. Some of my friends don't really like that portion of the game, uh, but I you know this game would have been just another um, I mean intriguing and fun cooperative game, but. Um, with that addition, it, it kind of goes into that weird kind of dexterity type game, and I, I, it was a welcome addition as far as I was concerned. But there you go. Uh, that's how you play uh, Emperor's New Clothes. Um, you know, a fantastic game uh, that, that I've, I've enjoyed the heck out of. And, and hopefully, uh, once uh, you back it and you get your own copy, you'll be able to play it as well. But let me tell you exactly what I really think. Yeah, I really just can't get over just how amazing this box looks. But... Anyway, so there you go. Uh, you should have a pretty good idea of how to play Emperor's New Clothes at this point. I mean, I don't really know what else I can tell you. Uh, you know, I mean, first of all, I can't believe this prototype looks as good as it is. I mean, this isn't even a mass-produced game, and it already looks this amazing, which is really impressive. So I can only imagine uh, that when the game has actually published the components and the artwork and everything, it's going to look even better, which, how is that possible? But anyway... Um, I really uh, found the game to hit on all cylinders for me. Um, you know, I always say my barometer for uh, uh, playing a cooperative game is that it needs to totally kick my butt the first time I play it, and this game totally did. Uh, I think I'm. I think we may have gotten to like the sixth or the seventh spot before I think uh, the guildsmen uh, were able to recognize the fact that he was naked and we lost the game, and. Um, and that was like at normal difficulty. And so then we played it again on easy, and, and we, we almost made it at the end, but we lost. And, you know, I mean, so the game is tough, and it's got a lot of tough decisions and a lot of tough problems to play. Um, you know, I, you know I, a lot of people say that Ghost Stories, you know, if you play that game as far as a cooperative game, is like the most difficult, uh, you know, co-op game. No, this one's way, way tougher, in my opinion. Um, you know, it, it, it just has so many different effects you know from the cards themselves and and also just like uh, you know the 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 finite number of these chips that you get to use um you know and, but you, you never feel like you never feel like you're, you're just punching a brick wall either you always feel like you have a shot you know because and i think that it has something to do with the dice you know because you always feel like as long as you're rolling dice um you can get that perfect combination of the colors that are that's going to allow you uh, to to pull off the win, you know, and so uh, even though you know I I've only beaten the game you know once uh, on easy and once on normal and uh, hard I mean I don't think there's any shot, but um you know and I've played it you know nearly a dozen times now, uh, I I don't mind the fact that I constantly lose. I mean it's a game that it, it tells a story it it. it it has a lot of suspense. And when you get to those lightning rounds, everybody's got to roll the dice quick in the 30 seconds that you have in order to, like, I mean, that has killed us in so many games. I mean, just, like, one guy not being able to roll anything worthwhile can, can doom you at that point. Um, you know, I mean, I guess, I mean, I really can't think of anybody that wouldn't like this game. I guess, um, I mean, if it, if, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if the game, if it just, it's a little bit too highbrow for you. If it, if it's just got, uh, 
if it's just um, too much game for you to handle, uh, then I can see yourself, you know, not wanting to go with this one. Uh, but, um, you know, honestly, I mean, like, you know, challenge accepted Emperor's New Clothes, you know, I mean, uh, I'm definitely, uh, uh, you know, got enough game in me and, and enough gaming know-how, if you will, uh, that I was able to, you know, appreciate the game for what it is. And, you know, and that's just uh, one excellent uh, piece of, of game craftsmanship uh, from top to bottom. Components, rules, uh, you know, mechanics, uh, story, everything. I mean, this, this I, I don't know. I mean, it's like... I. I, maybe I should just say best game of the year right now. I really can't. I mean, I don't. I can't think of anything that's gonna be better than this one. And and um, you know, so there you go. Uh, you got until April second to back it. I, I strongly suggest going there and, and checking that out. Um, but uh, Emperor's New Clothes. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna send this one back. I'm keeping it. Uh, I know they need it back for like some convention or something like that. They they can come to my door and break it down. I'm not going to give this sucker up. So there you go. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, by all means, you can leave them to the best of your ability. Uh, if you can grasp this game, um, hopefully I'll be able to, uh, you know, uh, clue you in on its greatness, if you will. Uh, but until next time, uh, this was Undead Viking, the gaming master, uh, just uh, enjoying the heck out of gaming perfection. You have a great day. Bye bye.